welcome back. Now that we have our web server installed and our database set up, we can now begin creating our website. I think a good place to start would be the register page where you just can create an account or sign into their existing account if they have one. Do you remember before when I said that if you leave the page name out of the URL, it would default to index.php? Because of this, I think we should create a new page for our register form so that index.php can be saved for our home page the user sees once they've already logged in. If you don't understand that, it will make sense to you soon. So we're going to go ahead and create a new page, a file, new file, and we can save this as register.php. Okay, and we're going to make sure we save it in the demo folder or whatever your folder is called that you created for this website. So I'll click save, and here we go. This is going to be our register page. So type in HTML, press tab, and it will insert your HTML template. Inside the title, you can go ahead and put whatever you want to. And here we go. We're ready to begin creating our register page. And we're going to start by creating a form, which is how web pages send data. So we're going to type in form, press tab, and it will put the closing tags in for you. Give it some space. Okay. So now we're going to put in our input fields where the user will type their information. Input. And inside here, between the greater than sign, we're going to say type equals double quotes text name equals. And this name is how our PHP code that we're soon to write will reference the text in this input field. We're going to call this reg underscore F name because this is going to be where the user enters their first name but it's also for the register form. The plan is to have a register and a login form on the same page. If we just left it off as F name it'd be a little bit more confusing whether this F name field is for the register form or the login form. So we'll just call it reg underscore F name and we're going to put a placeholder first name and we're going to put Required. Required means that the form will not be able to be submitted if there's no text field in there. We don't want the user submitting the form if there's no text inside the field. So we can copy and paste this now and just change this to L name for last name and we can change this to last name right there. So we change that to L name, that to last name. Now if we save that page and then we access it, remember we have to access the page we just created. So red just up PHP. We'll see the two fields we just created, first name and last name. Okay, it doesn't look very nice at the moment, but we can get to starting that soon. So let's start by making this last name appear on the line below, just by putting a simple break tag in there. You'll see that it appears on the line below. Now we're going to put another line break below. And then we're just going to copy and paste this and put it underneath. We're going to change the type of this one to email because this is where the users will enter their email and we can change this F name right here to email so it now says red email change this to email and essentially doing the same again with slight differences email this one's going to be email2 and this one is going to say confirm email and we're going to do this one more time, so copy two more, put it below with the new line break as well. This one is going to be type password, reg underscore password, password. Next one down is password again. This one's going to be password2. And we can just change that to confirm password. Now if we refresh the page and see what we have, we have a bunch of fields where users can enter all their information. Okay? And one more thing is we're going to put another line break and put another input field in there. This is going to be type equals submit name equals register button value will be register and there we go now we should have a button they can press to send the information 
Okay, this won't do anything right now, of course, but there we go. So before we start writing our code to handle this, inside the form tag right here, we want to put action equals and then register.php. An action is the page that the data from this form is going to be sent to. So this is going to say that send anything in here to this page right here. Okay, we send it to this page because this is where the code to handle it's going to be. We're going to say method equals post. And there we go, our form is set up now.